Hi, this is Ben from Bursack Custom Guitars. Today I'll be cutting out my guitar body for the great guitar build-off using the bandsaw. Let's hope I don't screw it up. All right, so there we have it. That's my basic shape for this guitar. Uh, I also off camera just cut out off of one of these scrap pieces, the top horn, which I'll be gluing in place like that. And then I'll finish shaping it into its, uh, you know, its final shape there. So on to the next step. So the body shaping is pretty much all done. I just have to uh, drill the control holes for the uh, the two volumes, two tones, the output jack, and the three-way switch. So we'll be doing that next. But before we do that, let's uh, take a look at the body. So there you have it. Get some close-up shots here for you so you can see exactly what's going on. Just flip it over so we can take a look at the back. And here I just have a little template that I cut out and stuck in there for the uh, control holes and stuff that I'm going to be drilling next. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. You know, this is all shaped by hand, as you guys saw. Just have to do a quick finish sanding before uh, we go on and uh, put our sealer on. And here we have our neck. You'll notice that I shape the headstock off camera just due to some time constraints but what I did was 
you know, I, I actually filled in the original holes uh, with the tuners with some dowels and some toothpicks there where they had drilled the original holes for the kit. And uh, I kind of made it my own. Um, kind of very loosely based on somewhat of a PRS-ish headstock, but this is a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit longer, and uh, it's going to have completely different style tuners and stuff on it. But yep, that's... That's the shape we're going for here. Pretty cool. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It turned out very beautiful. The rest of the neck, I haven't done any other work to, just because I'm waiting to get it in the guitar, which we're going to do now. All right, so we got our regular tight bond here. here and then spread it around with the brush and it's okay if we have a little extra because if it weeps out the side we can always wipe it off with a rag Put a rag on the back here so that my clamp doesn't leave any marks in the wood. As you can see, there's definitely some weepage going on, so I have some paper towels nearby. This isn't really a big deal anyway, because I'm going to be smoothing out this whole neck joint, kind of making it all look like one piece. So some excess glue really isn't a big deal, because it's probably just going to get sanded off anyway, if it gets a little globby. I'm only putting the rag here on the back because obviously this neck joint, you're never going to see that. So if there's a little indentation on there, that doesn't really bother me so much. So I put one smaller clamp on here also, just for good measure. Now this one I'm going to put on both sides because the clamp itself is going to be touching the fretboard and I don't want any marks or anything on the frets or on the actual fretboard. I'm just making that as tight as I can get it. Tighten this bad boy up a little more. All right, and there we have it. Now the guitar will sit like that probably overnight, at least a couple hours, let that glue dry up. That about does it for the build phase. Guitar is done and ready for paint. So the next step is to apply the sealer, then from there the color, and then finally the uh, clear coat. So we're gonna be doing a metallic orange finish uh, with a matte clear coat. So it should have a really cool uh, aesthetic to it so I'm really looking forward to see how that turns out but in the meantime let's take a look at the guitar before we get to the paint process. Okay so here's a closer look at the finished guitar. That's an older body. The neck is maple and the fretboard is rosewood. Right. 
right, so I'll go ahead and put this bad boy over. There's that neck joint I was talking about earlier, nice and smooth out. Should be really comfortable in the hand. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification, that way you'll get notified every time we post a new video. Uh, also throw a comment down there. I love to hear from you guys. And also don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Bursat Custom Guitars. Links in the description. Thanks again, guys.